When a community is known for its tourism, lush surroundings, shopping and beaches, the first impression means everything. The entry into that community should be convenient, efficient, safe, seamless, and leaving the area should have you dreaming of when you'll return. The, the number one goal in mind was to enhance airport safety by constructing a new relocated terminal away from the airport's active runway. The original facility that served the airport well for approximately 40 years was a built by a private developer and didn't meet modern FAA safety standards. So it was a stone's throw from our active run runway, which presented some concerns with regard to safety and capacity as well. Um, so over the years and through the master planning process, it was determined the, the ultimate need was a new two-story terminal facility uh, well away from that runway that would also allow for capacity, additional parking, and uh, a modern state of the art facility to meet the needs uh, of the airport for decades to come. This project allows additional capacity for aircraft and travelers to come in and out of the airport, which is critical to the community and the development and growth of the surrounding area. Uh, this airport is utilized by a wide range of people from just fun people that enjoy flying locally or travelers that come in, play golf, vacation for the week, do business. We get a wide range of aircraft from smaller, smaller aircraft that are for the training flight schools all the way up to a Gulfstream 650 that's been there as recently as last week. So uh, it's a wide range of users, a wide range of aircraft, and it is a very convenient airport location wise. Constructing a functional, safe facility had its challenges. So some of the challenges that we faced on an operational level was just dealing with the construction changes as they were happening throughout the years. Um, it took quite a while to get this terminal built, and now we're experiencing um, them taking down the old terminal and creating more ramp space for us. Creating a bright open space and a place for all was a top priority, as was ensuring energy efficiency. As part of the design, we utilized various products from special glass to the roofing and other products in order to meet a LEED certification for the new building, which was a big emphasis by the county. A community-minded airport like this needs to be multifunctional, offering amenities not just to visitors, but to pilots who are looking for a light-filled, spacious and inviting space to relax before the next flight, and locals who want a unique meeting space. Well, in addition to providing the offices for the, the Collier County um, Aviation Department personnel, uh, it provides uh, some space for a flight school, it provides space for a pilot um, lounge, and also uh, you know, briefing room for them to prepare their flight plans. And uh, there's some good conference room space, uh, and it, it's a great, uh, also some great accommodations for uh, passengers who are uh, either you know, departing or arriving from uh, flights. And so um, it's, it's got it all. Really, everything you'd want to have in a, a general, general aviation airport terminal. Capturing the island's low-key vibe, heritage, warmth, and tropical feel was key. Well, the um, uh, the goal was uh, again to uh, create this this uh, coastal traditional theme uh, for old Florida architecture, which conveys a sense of sophistication of a tropical destination to visitors that are flying in, um, the, uh, the sense of, of an arrival to a resort area like Marco Island is uh, with this uh, uh, old Florida type appearance uh, is what we were looking to achieve for the, for the community. If you travel on the airlines, a lot of those airports would have the feel of whatever city they're in. Uh, Marco Island is very classy. Um, it's very tropical. A lot of people refer to that as kind of a Tommy Bahama style. Um, and this terminal represents that. And the furniture is very soft and beach-like, which is obviously um, similar to the surrounding area of both in Marco Island and in Naples. So it's a good interface for the users to come into the airport, see their surroundings, see the inside of the building, and begin their vacation or their business trip. We're providing a great experience for the users of the community and those that visit us from elsewhere. 
Designing an airport surrounded by nature takes a certain expertise to preserve the wonder and beauty of the surroundings. Because, you know, portions of the project do bound immediately on uh, mangrove and, and wetland areas. So we had to be very careful in terms of keeping the development within the boundaries that had been permitted. And also we wanted, we had a, a good stormwater um, treatment system to make sure that the runoff from the project is, is properly treated and doesn't have any negative impacts on the environment. Collaboration, pride, a love of aviation and expertise came together to make the vision a reality. There's quite a number of entities and parties that are involved in a complex construction project like this. So airport staff, our board of county commissioners, Atkins, our lead engineer, the architect, um, our, our users and stakeholders, and certainly the contractor and subcontractor. Um, so I, I felt that, you know, overall, we were able to get the project uh, delivered in large part thanks to this collaboration by the various stakeholders um, and ensuring communication was clear and effective all throughout um, to, you know, lead to a successful delivery. Oh, it's been a wonderful experience. The airport authority has been great to work with. Collier County government is is uh, also good to work with. Um, so we've had we've had some very good collaboration with the owner and the ownership, um, and uh, working through the design. When you love what you do, when it's not just a job, it shows. It shows in the work, the attention to detail, in the energy and passion when you talk about the project. That's part of my job is just is, is getting to work with airports and the people who uh, are at airports and love aviation like I do. Uh, it's you know, just I, I get excited every time I, I get to go to the airport and, and just just being around planes coming and going and, and being able to help be a part of making that um, a safe and enjoyable experience for me. I love being at the airports and being with clients and just being on the ground at airports. I just love aviation in general, and I'm lucky I get to do what I love on a daily basis. I love my job. I am, I am very fortunate to do what I do, where I do it, and with the people I get to do it with. It is a privilege every day for me to come here um, and work with the people that I work with. Um, it, on all levels. It's, um, it's a dream come true. I am a third generation pilot. I have a degree in aviation. This is an area that people would give anything to live in, let alone have the drop of their dreams. Um, you know, to live and work in paradise is, is something dreams are made of, and this is certainly that for me. Um, so it's, it's a very special airport. This is a very special time, I think, for us and I'm very, very privileged and honored to be a part of it.